First off, I'm going to start by saying this right here. I ain't embarrassed about a goddamn thing, especially not my kids. So would anybody feel like that I'm embarrassed about my kids? And like they said, I'm going to tell you like this here. If you ain't got no more money than me, I don't want to hear a motherfucking thing. You hear me? If you embarrassed, you got anything to say. If you're taking care of these 30 kids, if you're taking care of me, then you can contribute to what you got to say. But in the end, I don't give a None of you niggas out there bumping, none of you hoes out there talking, I ain't got more money than me. So what you got to say is irrelevant to me. I don't give a f But when it comes to my kids, I'm going to ride. You hear me? He got 33 kids, right? Mm -hmm. So two things is true. He's saying... What he can't say is that we can't say shit. We gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> so he keep talking about if you ain't got more money than me, this and that. Listen here. Unless this motherfucker is Elon Musk, I'm a, I'm having a hard time, you know, seeing the square that he's standing on. There you go. There yeah. we go. So so this brother got 33 kids and he don't hear it going off. All that that's 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 a that's a um red flag in itself. But he obviously got something to prove he got a complex about it, otherwise he won't be on here. I'll tell you that right now. I'm trying to explain itself. But but here we go. So he said we can't talk about it, and we talked about this uh before. At the end of the day, here we go. He kind of got a point. If if these he going around, look like he a truck driver. I'm assuming I'm gonna make a heavy assumption he a truck driver. Look like he in a cab of a, a, a big semi truck. He going around like most truck drivers do, and knocking up all these women, and they are allowing him to do it. And it seemed like he ain't running from these babies. You know, he a little wild with his words talking about can't nobody say nothing about it. As our we should, we are in a position to observe our peers. And lay down, uh, you know, some some judgment and some criticism. Fuck, to hell with that. We shall. What you gonna do? You like to say he looked like he aggressive. If you want to fight, that's cool. That's you should. You a man, you can fight. But I don't think he that far to balance. Because at the end of the day, the women are allowing him not just sleep with him, but to impregnate them. I, I totally agree. I, I, you know, huh? I, I agree. I you agree. Know, that's that's tough. Bro. We talked about we, we talked about this. Somebody said that. We were on another panel and they said men don't hold men accountable. Yes, we do. But what are we supposed to say to this man? He worked. He talking this shit. Yeah, I don't agree with everything he's saying. But at the end of the day, I'm not about to go uh, subdue this man and make him stop. Because, no, it, that's foolish and that's that's just dumb. It's foolish. The women that are having the babies, they making a the decision. I At this point, from what I say, kudos to him. I don't think it's. For the, I don't think it's for the best benefit of the group. No, I don't because 33 kids, so That's many baby moms, bad. that that is not ideal. Now we we're not gonna graze over that. You got all these all these women. You it is absolutely impossible for you to spend uh, a respectable amount of time with these with your kids. You did a little photo shoot. At, at a Thanksgiving or or a family reunion, that 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 ain't gonna cut it, man. Seriously, that ain't gonna cut it. And I'm pretty sure all 20 of these baby moms ain't in the same state. And if they are, that's repulsive. I don't I don't know. Come on, in the same town. Come on. So I would have to imagine all these babies are spread out. It's not ideal. It's not in the best interest of these babies. It ain't just about the man and the woman. It's about the kids. Well, you got pity on something. Well, you keep saying. He a truck driver. He can take care of them. I don't think that's a good enough occupation to take care of thirty three kids. Yeah, and I'm that's it's not. He he going on about he got bread. I got more bread. That's that. We see this before. If, if you talk about you got so much bread, that would indicate to me that you ain't taking care of your kids. There's no way you got thirty three kids. You're right a billionaire. You yeah, I mean, kids. yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true though. But but do we really believe that shit though? What if he really is doing that though? You see what I'm saying? See, that's what I'm saying. See, some people will say things like, oh, we, nah, he, he might not be he saying that shit, but he might not be taking care of it. But what if he is, though? That's the only thing I'm saying, though. Yeah, he there's only no one. Way. He, he only one. He would have been in bro. 33 kids? 30, man, dog. If you had 33 kids in PA, bro, that's a Commonwealth state. Nigga, they sending, they putting the warrant on, they putting the warrant on your head, my nigga. 
They pin a warrant on on your head. So evidently, he yo he I be, some for some reason I believe this dude yo he re, he really living up to what he's saying he's doing, taking care of his kids. I'm saying it's you know, impossible. I'm saying it's impossible for him to be living up to what he claimed he's doing. That's what I'm saying. It's, a, I mean, it's yeah, impossible. It's, I get what you're saying. Yeah, see, like 33 you, kids. You are different opinions on it though. It, it's, it's highly no. possible. I'm and, I'm not saying I'm saying he may not know, he ain't the worst case scenario. That's why I say I, I wouldn't be standing for this man trying to go toe to toe with him because I see you working, you trying, you you there, you ain't just bounce, you ain't going, and you dare come up on social media and right. make a video, you know, pounding your chest about how good of that. Okay, I there's some respect there at the same time. Don't say I do all this because come on, like Gavin said, unless you Elon Musk thirty three children, stop stop the cap. Stop the cat. 33 children, 20 baby mamas. This is not harmony. This is not a peaceful situation. Yeah, no, it's not a good not. It's not Seriously, good. you either, for this to be peaceful, either these, these the majority of these women that you have babies with don't really care about you, so they just don't care. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or I don't I don't even know what the other side could be. They just traumatize. Well, you know, you're you talking about a lot of chemically imbalanced women. There we go. Because family, here we go. Here we go. Uh, um, Rob, what respectable woman, you know, because he claimed he a proud father, so he ain't lying to these women. He claims right, a right. proud, proud father. So when he knock up the next one, I'm pretty sure he's like, yeah, I got, I got 27. You know what I'm saying? I would imagine that one he told he told the last one, I got 30. Yeah, <laughs> I got 30 yeah, yeah, right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, because ain't no real, ain't no real woman, ain't no woman. What respectable yeah, ain't, woman gonna say I'm 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 gonna be baby mama twenty one? Right, right, that's what I'm saying. I was just about to say that, bro. Ain't no real ass yeah. queen gonna be like, yo, I'm about to be twenty five. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm you about to be man? number fifteen type shit. You Outside know, of dealing shit, with no, he here a trap. Yeah, he always here a trap. Yeah, he always here a trap. And then they not yeah they all from all the different states and shit. He trust and believe me, he lied to some of them hoes, bro. See, and there we go. But here, this is this is where we started getting out of bounds. Yeah, because you know, Nick, we always like to talk about Nick Cannon because it seems like Nick Cannon's the first one that they really shine the light on. You know, doing this thing, but even Nick, with Nick, Nick got even Nick, I don't care how famous you is. Even with Nick, 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 I don't care how famous you is. It ain't, it ain't about fame. It's a it's it's simply about resources. Nick Cannon can have a baby in LA and catch a flight in the middle of the night and go see his kid in New York if the baby's sick. He can do it and it won't be an issue. He can do it with a smile, no drama. Oh, my bad came from LA. That brother there, he cannot do that. That's, That's what that bread. That's that bread, that bro. You gotta think about it, bro. That's that bread. Yeah, it, 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 it ain't got nothing to do with fame. Hey, hey, no, for real. All right, look, look. Dang, Will. <laughs> Gav, listen though, real talk. Let y'all have that type of money, and y'all had kids, many as kids like that, right? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be cool. Ain't no baby mama gonna trip about that shit, whatever, and all that, because they getting taken care of. Like you, gotta can, about, correct. you gotta think about everything what's going on in this picture. You know what I'm saying? Now, just like I said, a real ass queen ain't gonna go for that shit. I'm not about to deal with you. You got 33 kids, my nigga. You got a whole bunch of issues and personalities on your hands. So I'm not about to deal with it. I'm not about to make myself number 32, 34, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's that. But with Nick, he got all that bread. Dude probably got money. All right, guaranteed. But Nick got all that bread. And some, his baby mama, is doing, they don't even care for real. As long as they get their time, you know what I'm saying? They get their time. He get the time with his kids or whatever. And then he paying what he paying. Everything is good, bro. So it's not going to be no issue. Money talks, bro. And for the baby mamas that's embarrassed, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but these my kids and I don't give them. So if you feel some type of way, that's on you. And ain't a nigga got anything to say about me or my kids or my mama. You know where I'm at? I'm going to sell more sick right now. I'm in Monroe, Louisiana. I'm going to head back to Texas. I'm getting that motherfucking money, what you whole ass nigga should be doing. Because for my, I'm going to go. I don't ask you niggas for a motherfucking thing when it comes to my dirty. I still live the life I want to live. You ass niggas out here walking and got days on your feet. You live with your mama, you live with your own oh my We 30. This my shit. My house is my cars. I own my shit. You get like me. Then you can say something about mine. But until the end, fuck y'all. I don't even do this. But it's too many of you motherfuckers for me to address every last one of y'all. So I'm going to put it like this here. 
You don't take care of Nan George's child. Keep your motherfucking mouth closed when it come to Brian kids. Because all I'm going to get taken care of, motherfucker. As long as I got breath in my motherfucking body, I'm going to take care of mine. And I don't give a fuck how nobody else feel about it. You won't take care of me. You won't take care of my kids. You won't do a motherfucking thing. So what you got to say is irrelevant. I hear what he's saying. Yeah, he doing it. Doing, doing. I, I think this brother is lacking self awareness. Yeah, you know, I think he thinks he he you ain't fucking King Tut, so he must be understood that you ain't the man. You ain't the mess. You ain't the man who should be having thirty three kids. There There's go. nothing wrong with a man having thirty three kids. There's a problem. With this man having thirty three kids. There he ain't go. in position to have thirty three kids. Ignorant. You come over here just ignorant. You can't even articulate yourself. You're talking in circles. You're cussing everybody. I mean, come on, man. So he ain't in a position to have 33 kids, but I don't I don't see a problem with the man. If your resume suits the bill, how many kids as you want? But goddamn, 33 by 20 women. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, at the same time, like you said, you, you know, they say be fruitful, and I understand that side of it. And if he wasn't taking care of his kids, there is a system in place that would make him or he would be in jail right now. So mm. it's hard to hold too much accountable. There we go. But at the same time, but at the same time, all his morals and his stand, just from where I stand, yeah, like I couldn't align with the brother. I probably couldn't go out and have a beer with him. But at the same time, if he doing what he say he doing, he may be welcome into a There you go. There you go. Yeah, so, that's what I'm saying. Like, like he, he probably actually doing what he's doing, but he is doing too much hollering though. Because for one, for for real, for real, a real man ain't gonna get on no, no Facebook, social media type of anything to, to prove themselves that what they're actually doing for their household. Them is your children. You supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. If you're not taking care of your children, you're a fucked up individual. Period. Point blank. I don't give a fuck who you is, man or woman. You know what I'm there saying? Go. There you go. So, so he doing what he got to do, but him. Him doing that video and all that, that's mm -hmm. just, oh, he doing it. It's overboard to me. Because I, I, just like I said, you really enough, you taking care of your family. You got 30-something 30, 30 kids out here. You wouldn't even have to do all that to prove a fucking point. There you go. You ain't got you nothing to prove. You ain't, you ain't got nothing to prove. We, shit, we all grew up in toxic ass environments. And I think it's amazing that adult men like him don't know it's a telltale sign that you insecure about this situation. Uh, via the fact you came up here and went on this whole emotional feminine ass rant for real. Right, he was on an emotional high. And yeah. I, bet you, I bet you it was probably one of his partners around him, or it's not even one of his partners. Somebody was talking. It shouldn't be him. a thing. It, yeah, you know, really had any business. Bro, only, only way for him to do that though, somebody was talking, bro. For if him you to really handling business, that energy ain't even around you. Ain't yo, ain't nobody saying that when you really handling business. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody in Nick Cannon circle saying nothing to Nick because right. he handling business. But when you handling business, the murmurs will start, and then they, <laughs> and if they affect you, now you must be guilty or self conscious about it. And that's because he he posted that. Like said Rob, he posted that picture that we seen in the beginning with all his kids, and he was getting a lot of backlash from social media. He said, "I ain't got." Enough time to address everybody individually, so that's why he made this video. But it just, you know, he was trying to land the plane as they always do. Right. I remember saying, I remember saying that picture two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I commented on this shit, and I remember saying like, shit. As long as you take care of your kids, that's all that matter. But only thing I'm saying is him doing doing that video out there. You shouldn't even if you. It's like I said, you taking care of your home, you taking care of your children. What's the point of you going live making a point? Was it 33 kids in that picture? It don't look like 33 all together. Like they, they pull that picture. And here we and here we go. That is the best picture he could put up. He could not afford or had the means to get every last one of his kids in that picture. Come, well, that's what we're talking about. I guarantee you, Nick Cannon. Within 48 hours or so, can get all his kids, unless they into buying shit, <laughs> can get all his kids into one picture. That ain't 33 chillings. It just ain't. No, no, no. Them is like, them, uh, give or take, them is probably like 15, almost 20 right there. Yeah, count them out. Them, Where we at? Them is, them is like them is like 15 right there. I count them fifth, probably like 15 so far. And we got an adult. We got two. It looks like we got one, at least one adult in there. Yeah. With him. So, so, so there we go. And he called himself the legend. He's the legend. He a legend, all right. I don't know. But, but I'm saying, bro, women, women, women that know he got that many kids, 
and they they letting them lay down with them and shit. They know what's going on. So well, that, 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 comes to tell, that comes to tell you how much they care about their bodies, bro. Because if I was a woman, I know you got that many kids, nigga. You ain't nah, nigga. You ain't paying that thing to me, brother. You ain't about to do that. And then they doing it without blood. Hold on, hold on, Rob. That's one side of the coin. Women are looking. You saying women saying, "Ugh, I don't want none of that." No, we missing the point. Women are out here desperate for kids, and they know this motherfucker is fertile. We don't yeah. don't act like these women are showing violence. I'm they not, know this bro, motherfucker. Wait, let me finish though. Like, hold on, hold on. Wait, right. let me like, I, I was about, about to say that it's like, other women out here too. That's like that. It's really saying, women out here. Like that, bro. These women, these women are getting up in age, and they say, "I know this man is fertile. Yes. I just want to have a kid." And they ain't suitable to meet a good man. And they know this motherfucker gonna ski in them, and it's gonna be a hundred percent effective. So here we are. They're gonna let this motherfucker ski in them. So, like you said, you gotta blame the women more than him for sure, because they let this motherfucker beat. But then that's you know, the, I don't know what his integrity yeah. and his morals are. Yeah, but, yeah, man, they know what's going on, bro. They, they they see what's going on. So just like you said, what the fuck? Shit, that nigga fertile. I'm about to let this nigga tap me. You know what I'm saying? That's how I, that's how I believe that shit going on right now as we speak, bro. It ain't even got to have, have like they ain't even got to have like thirty kids. They ain't even got to have like thirty kids, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can have one or two. Pull up. Fuck you, mean we motherfucker? Tell me my mom motherfucking kids. You niggas got three or four and don't do a motherfucking thing. Ain't shit weak over here. My pockets ain't weak and my dick show ain't weak, bitch ass nigga. You put sad nigga sitting there talking. I ain't got a motherfucking dollar in your pocket. I ain't got a dollar in your motherfucking pocket. I ain't got a dollar in your motherfucking pocket, but you want to talk that shit. I'm still that nigga with 30. I'm still that nigga with 30. I'm still that nigga with 30. Fuck you mean, bitch. I'm still that nigga. When you get like me, then you gonna fuck with me, bitch. That's all I got to say, nigga. You niggas will oh, never be me. Man, he doing too much, man. Yeah, that's your king, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 ain't my king. Ain't my king. You were trying no, to call you. this motherfucker. See yeah. See right, that now? Mean, now what's that now? Now that he then came up, flashed no, that red. Don't get that. Don't get that. Real men don't do that. Once again. Hold up, hold up, Rob. Wait, wait, hold up. Don't get attitude now. He come up there flashing that bread, talking hot shit. No, see that now, now you now you have to do do ego tripping. He ego tripping. He he feminine. He in his he 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 resting in his femininity and he going off. Right, that's and what, that's what I'm, that's what I'm about to get to, bro. I was just about to get see what you saying. You took all oh, you took the words out my mouth. <laughs> what you got my mouth? See all that <laughs> all that was on call yeah. for man for what? And then you set yourself up to get robbed too, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You tripping, bro. You tripping. All right. Come on. You know no man going to do that, bro. You he none of going to do it. He a truck driver. Come on, man. Me and Gavin just talking about this. It's the difference between what, what passed through your hand and what's actually profits. And you a truck driver, you your haul, you got probably two grand just in fuel costs. So that that ain't your money. Stop. I'm going to say he, I'm the fact that he acted feminine, I'm saying everything he's doing is cap. It's all cap from the bread. It's all cap. He cap and he a truck driver. He truck driver. He knocking up poor, disenfranchised, ignorant women. So he come off like a king because he can flash uh, two thousand dollars that don't belong to him. That's 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 uh already uh due to expenses. That's what I'm saying. That yeah, bread ain't his. Some of the women, some of the women truck drivers doing too. that. And one some dude touched on. He said, "What's your profit margins?" This dude is all. Cap got no respect, but like Gav said, they they letting him do it. He a wild cat, and the fact that he acting like that, that right. in that feminine state, he ain't good for the group. All them kids, all them kids, you ain't talking about setting up. You ain't talking about set. Oh shit, for my oldest, I got this for my oldest, mm -hmm. or you know, I already got this set up for my young. You ain't talking about none of that shit. You talking, man, that shit's stupid. You know they, what? Let's, let's look at it like this. Your money. You flashing your money, so you know what I'm saying? Niggas probably know what truck you probably drive and shit, so yeah, he, he keep about a good 15, 20 on him. So you know what I'm saying? I'm guaranteed to have a nice night on that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I can go on, bro. I can go on, but I'm going to shut up. Nobody, people be inviting this shit into their life. 
But um, I forgot he's doing this. This he got he got he got uninvited from Wakanda so quick. But he, <laughs> holy smokes, yeah, he he ain't no good. The fact that he up to acting like that. Here we go. If he would have came up here, if he had made a video and was calm and was like, hey, guys, I see what y'all talking about. Don't worry about it. I do my thing. I take care of my kids. I'm a truck driver. I do this, blah, blah, blah. If he felt the need to explain himself, which I don't think any man should have to explain himself if they're doing what they're supposed to do. But if he felt like he needed right. to and he came up here in a calm demeanor with and said, hey, this is what I'm doing. Don't y'all worry about it. I make sure I'm doing this. That video is a totally different video. But the fact you came back like a hoe. Acting just like a hoe. It's confirmed. Now you act like a hoe. It's all bad, though. I don't believe nothing you're saying because you went, you, you set, you, you rested in that feminine bull crap. And it's terrible. Bad look for a black man, cup of flash and bread like that. Like I said, when you flash and shit like that in front of people that don't know no better, it can, it can go your way. Yeah. When people that we know, we know the game that ain't all your money. And hey, right, what, look, if I, hey, hey, if I was one of them dudes, I, if I was one of those dudes that was up to no good, bro, I had one of my hoes like, yo, hit that nigga line. See what I'm saying? Tell him what up to no good. Come on, man. If, 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 if I'm going to be Pass by you at a truck stop in the middle of nowhere. Hey, I could be me in the right frame of mind. And you acting goofy like this. And yeah. I feel like and I feel like you don't deserve that bread. <laughs> <laughs> and I catch you slipping. Bop. Come hey, on. Hey, was he, hey, was he doing, hey, was he doing that recording in a truck or, or his house? I, it looked like he was in a truck. Because look, all right, now look. Yeah, that looked like a truck. Now, what if somebody walked past and seen that shit? Yeah, he's like, like the oh, bunch sure, of a truck. I'm sure he's probably strapped. We can't just be. Ignorant. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's strapped. And we know that. Of course, man. Come on, we ain't even got. To, that's why we ain't saying nothing about. I that. hope so. We know I, that. I hope I hope, right. I hope so. But we know that's common sense. But bro, I'm telling you, man. Do, what is somebody walk past a nigga doing something like that? They gonna they gonna up strap on him? What you that's talking? True. That's saying, true. Yeah. I'm sure. He, I'm sure he ain't parked in the middle of uh, Crenshaw doing that shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> you hope not. You probably all had a truck stop somewhere, real comfortable. There you go. You know? But there we go. We'll get back into it and see what more he got to say here. He talking big. Quit trying to run my head because you fuck the same bitch I fuck with. That don't make you me. It don't. Ne it would never make you me. It's only one Brian, nigga. It'll never make you me, nigga. Yeah. It'll never make you me, nigga. I don't fuck with you, nigga. So everybody got something to say. But I'm never, yeah, I, I slang dick from the East Coast to the West, bitch. Been doing that shit since I was a little nigga. I ain't embarrassed about shit. Them my kids, bitch. Embarrassed. I'm happy you whole ass nigga should be embarrassed. You staying with your mama. Lay with your baby mama. Have you bitch ass nigga should embarrassed. You ain't got a thousand dollars in your pocket. Have you hoes should be embarrassed. Y'all don't even take care of y'all motherfucking kids. But you want to holler about embarrassed? I see you trash ass bitches walking around with the wigs on your head. Then I see your kids in the dollar store, nappy head in the motherfucker. But you don't inspire 500 on your head, but you can't spend $30 to get your daughter hair braided. But embarrassed, bitch. Yeah, bitch, you hoes is embarrassed. That's what's embarrassing. That's what's embarrassing, bitch. Your nails done, all that shit done. You got daughters, take them to the nail shop. That's what's embarrassing, bitch. And you niggas walking around this bitch riding on the side of your body smoking brunch and this nigga. Well, ask a nigga to pay for you this and pay for that. That's what's embarrassing. You bitch ass nigga work out, I walk around and smoke weed, sell the weed all motherfucking year long. But you run to your baby mama house and your mama house. That's what's embarrassing. And the only way it would be respectable is if he had all his baby mamas present and he was talking his shit and he was getting no pushback. There. That would be the only way you can respect this shit. You can say you're talking this shit in front of them. And they co-sign it without a fucking without fucking a knife to their back or some shit. <laughs> so that'll be the only way this is respectable. There Outside we go. that, he's just beating his chest. And who's to say if he lying or telling the truth? So we just so he telling people not to speculate. We only left to speculate. Bring all go. these women out, get everybody in the same room, and talk the same shit. There we go. There we go. Because even in the picture with with the uh, with the not thirty three kids. It was only one woman there. It was only one. It only appeared to be one baby mama out of the 20 or so, whatsoever. So now, that's, that's probably the one that's really sticking by her side through everything. Or or she's the poorest. I like his mama. She older. She look like his mom. It's like an older woman. There we go. I I would be 
It would be entertaining to see the women that he's mating with. I'm, I'm, it would be entertaining. He said That's he's been slanging like dick from the East Coast to the West Coast since he was a young boy. There we go. That ain't trying to trying to uh, be a man through your penis, trying to establish a manhood through your penis. Ooh, Bad deal. Trying, so. He talking big set pound in his chest. Brother, all you doing is exposing trauma. You are the Yeah, and then you heard it. Then you heard him talk about a girl, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care you fucking on her. You know what I'm saying? I knew that had something to do with it too. <laughs> it, yeah. it always it always gotta be it always be like that, bro. If it, look, if he hitting on her, let her hit on her, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? He nobody probably really hey, ain't nobody probably really saying that about them kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he didn't want to get his point across because damn that good pussy, you know what I'm saying? And that other nigga tapping that shit, he ain't liking that shit. Yeah, bitch, I'm 34 with 30 plus kids and I got my own. You hear me? I hold my own weight. I hold my own weight. I ain't running the mama, my daddy, nobody. I get my own. That, yeah, that's what I do. I get my own. I make this shit happen on my own. Fuck what you niggas talking about. Let they go viral. Suck my dick like they go viral, bitch. I wake up today, I'm sleeping in my truck. I got a million motherfucking messages about what somebody got to say about Brian and his kids. But guess what? The mind, and I ain't embarrassed about a motherfucking thing. Nothing. First and foremost, I'm not embarrassed about shit. They're my kids. The mama's embarrassed because they, they somebody talking shit, and the bitch y'all got a problem. Y'all got a problem because then my kids. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. Embarrassing about shit. You bitches, you, you, you hear about? Y'all worried about what the next motherfucker gonna say? Me? I don't give a fuck. I don't. You don't write my check. You don't give me nothing. You don't do this shit for me. You, 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 you don't make no money for Brian. So I'm not embarrassed about shit. I ain't got an answer to you hoes. None of that. So you niggas mad about these bitches. I tell you what, Brian talk all this shit, but the more he telling his story, he's he's unveiling that who's been on his ass is his baby mamas. And he has been untruthful. He's making it seem like they, yeah. find, they, they find out that this motherfucker got 33 kids and he didn't tell them up front. And now he's yeah. saying, Hey, y'all bitch, you want to talk shit, y'all mad? No, because you were, if you you weren't talking this shit, you ain't walking the bedroom saying, yeah, bitch, you about yeah. to be my 33rd baby mama. I'm sure yeah, you yeah. would. Yeah. Um, you see what I'm saying? Uh, you see how you see? Now, the more he talk, the more he unveiling shit. Yep. Where, where the whole thing is supposed to be, don't say nothing about my motherfucking kids. I take care of them. That was supposed to be the whole topic of the thing. And he a but truck driver. The more he talk, is unveiling what's really going on, bro. You gotta. We reading between. See y'all reading between the lines, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's going from state to state, and these women don't have a clue who he is. And he pulled and put the Joker mask on. He confirmed he a truck driver, Rob. He says, yeah. "I woke up in my truck. Everything we, all of our yeah. assumptions, motherfucking yeah. educated assumptions, have been correct." He yeah. don't think what we. Yeah, I had, yeah. And he wild. He, yeah, he wild. He, he acting like a hoe. That brother acting like a hoe. I ain't gonna lie, man. I, you know what I'm saying? I I really don't condone violence, but motherfuckers like him just need slid. Seriously, they just do because he ain't good for the group. He up here doing all this loud stuff, and he got all these kids, and he acting irresponsible because he bringing this negative energy on to him. Now, what if he end up, you, you know, hurt? God forbid. Now these thirty three chillings ain't got no no daddy, so he's oh, a good, a good dad. Like, so he playing. One of them niggas watching. What are them niggas watching that don't like that nigga like you yo? See, you see what I'm saying? Well, what, did, what did Prime just say? What did Prime just say to his student athletes? Don't be being boisterous because motherfuckers ain't proud of you. They they envious and hate. They hate you. Like a man. Like I, I want to knock him upside his head and take his bread. And I ain't need, I ain't even me. So if this kid is eating ramen noodles, it is can he stand on the square? See what I'm saying? He's staying on the square like his kids is eating steak and lobsters every night and they drinking ambrosia and shit. So what depending on their living conditions can that just debunk everything he's saying you see what i'm saying so we need to have the baby mamas and the children to speak up for themselves you know before you keep fucking talking this shit yeah that's what happened it was a chick involved another yeah yeah you right man and another baby mama saying that shit like yo that's they siblings you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> like, 
It's crazy, man. So it's 22 oh, in the picture. Okay. So he can't I, was, yeah, I was close. 15, 20. I knew it was, I was close. Damn. Yo, he, hey, thank, hey, hey. <laughs> thank you for counting, so bro. We all, man, that video, it's like halfway through. I don't know if y'all can take any more of that shit. What'd you say, Willie? <laughs> Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear how this goofy motherfucker signed off. He already invited motherfuckers to his genitals. I want to see how he gonna sign off. Heck, all right. <laughs> well, that's first and foremost. That's what the problem come in. It you mad about these bitches, but I don't give a fuck. You want to be me so motherfucking bad. You want to be me so bad. It don't make you you because you fuck my baby mama. That that don't make you me. And if you got with her, you think, oh, man, she do fuck with Brian, you know she got there, man. You contradict yourself. What the fuck? You shit. Let that shit go, bro. That's the part of the game. I've been this nigga, man. I ain't just come this nigga yesterday. I've been this nigga. So before you get on Facebook and talk about this man with all his kids and his weak ass gang, nah, bitch, ain't nothing weak. I just don't pull out. Ask them. I go farther up in that motherfucker. I don't pull out. Fuck you mean? I ain't trying to pull out. Ain't nothing weak. So bitch, and for you baby mamas that's embarrassed, fuck you. Point is simple. Since you so embarrassed, you be embarrassed all for the rest of your forever. If you embarrassed, stay embarrassed, bitch. Cause ain't nothing. I'm not embarrassed about my kids. See what I'm saying? It started off honorable, then it turned insidious. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, I done had it at this man, point. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Turned, he, oh, I just leave it in deep. I leave it in. Uh, it turned real insidious. He went from trying to be this honorable father to start telling these insidious ass stories. Right. We didn't need to know none of that shit. <laughs> so, All uh, ego. Terrible. 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 Like you said, he ain't no good for that. The for the good. record, that is not toxic masculinity. That is an absence of masculinity. He is not acting in a masculine manner. No, he is acting in a very feminine, emotional manner. He's acting like an unstable, <laughs> prepubescent little girl. <laughs> he out of he out of bounds. So yes, for the this is stop that toxic toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity is the absence of masculinity. Acting like a hoe. That's him. You know, and this is is bad. He got something to prove. Ladies and gentlemen, you got something to prove, and it's not a good look. There really is. He yeah. said he's 34 years old. He's 34, so he our age. So everything we're saying is in bounds. He ain't 21. He ain't 22. If he was 22, the, it wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, shit. The, <laughs> holy hell, if he was 22, it would make it worse, I guess, 33 kids. But, uh, but yeah, this dude is acting like a hoe. That's, that sums it up there, and no need. To beat around the bush, he acting like a little girl. He got something to prove. He insecure about the situation. He been lying. He out he here. He has, he a villain as he talk. Yep, willy nilly truck driver out here acting wild. Story as long as a uh, tale as long as time. Yeah, he should just he should he should have just, just left it as that holy father that he is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's the thing, the guys know when they end over their head. You know, guy, but are she outside my league? If it's anything, it's just one night. But a big, fat, frumpy, undesirable woman can't be like, "Oh, this big ass, tall truck driver look like Teddy Pendergrass." <laughs> you know, he really loved me, and you know, he only been in town for two nights, but he loved me, and he wanted to marry me. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, that's all he's saying. Seriously, y'all. So I say that y'all tricking y'all sales, man, because a man be like, "I know what this is." I know my role in this game, but a woman be like, oh no, I know it. I, they, it's the self awareness at all time low, man. Or, or y'all just be tricking yourself. But like, like, uh, like what's name said, we we got to treat y'all like y'all adults. Y'all ain't children. Y'all are adults, and y'all love to claim that y'all mature faster than men. That's one of y'all greatest things y'all love to claim. We mature way faster, man. Y'all stupid. So why y'all keep getting <laughs> by an inferior being? I can't stress that enough. Here we go. If Nug, oh, off of this goofy truck driver motherfucker, but he Nug Nug too. Hell with him. If Nug Nug is so inferior, he broke, he dusty, he stank, he ain't got no good hygiene, 
You know what I'm saying? All this, he uncircumcised, his mama don't love him. <laughs> How did this inferior individual steal your womb? How? <laughs> what does that say about you and your womb? Man, you know what's taking you know what's going on. <laughs> I do, but it ain't it don't their stories don't go inside. They say, Oh, he ain't worth a damn. I he ain't shit, he dusty, he broke his mom. But you gave him your whole womb. You get you gave him your womb. God dang. Yeah. Not just slept with him. No. <laughs> what they say, raw dog, meat to meat. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. He said, whoever said that ain't lying. Seriously, Seriously man. man. He's whoever the said that there is not lying, man. He is the pussy bandit. Connor, right there. Whole ass Connor, right there, bro. Uh huh. <laughs> Whole ass Connor, right there. You know what I'm saying? Man, we. Look, 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 they're like shit as long as you pull out. <laughs> Woo, man. Yeah. I'm gonna lay this motherfucker on the line, you hear me? I'm not embarrassed about shit. Nothing. Not who I had them with, not how many I got. Because guess what? They mine. They mine, motherfucker. And it's the last time I'm gonna dress you whole ass niggas about it. Like I said, I'll be back in Marshall, Texas in about two hours once I get my truck loaded. Anybody got any problem? I'll go live again. We can meet up however you want to do it. I don't give a fuck. But when it comes to my kids and my mama, y'all going to keep that out your motherfucking mouth, though. Because I'm going to lay it down for them. I'm going to go on and see Jesus behind them. You was right. That was his mom. two places we going to go. We're going to go to jail or hell. But I'm going one. Either one, it don't make no difference. Yeah, it do. See, yes, it do. Yeah, it do. It make a difference. There we go. Your life should be more precious than that, brother. Saying jail or hell. The ignorance is full circle. He he don't fuck. No. Hell no. You got 30 yeah, years. See, still up under the guy. Not about my mama. My mama. And I'm going to do it. Good mama. Calm down. Mama. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> seriously, man, holy smokes! This it get worse and worse. I'm thinking it's getting worse and worse. He keep exposing himself. No, yeah, brother, you gotta yeah, bounce. He, he unstable. Like, I'm all I'm all down for a good scrap, but you talking about like motherfuckers ain't fighting. You know, you talking about killing and going to hell and jail shit. <laughs> no, no, man. You know what I'm saying this is a man with so much brand resources and so much to lose. Talking about. Men with shit to lose don't talk like this. Here we go. Sure, sure don't. He acting like he, you know, said teenagers still in the projects where you really is sad, but you ain't got much to lose but your life. But he act, he, he. I'm in Texas right now. My truck is loaded up. I've been here too long. I've been here too And you down you in Texas? You know what I'm saying? My mama for kids, my mama. <laughs> he playing. Now you clocked. Now you <laughs> stop this dumb stuff. Now you clocked. It, it could be somebody watching this that don't know you at all, but he just a stick up kid. He just he right, about that was, shit. That was the way I said the brand, you know, told him where you're gonna be in two hours. Right. That's what I'm saying. It could be nobody you know. Now now it's an unsolved case because the person that did it is somebody you don't even know, no connection. Come on, man. You a fool, you a dumb fool. You fuss out like Dick Gregory, you a fool. <laughs> Seriously, man. Holy smoke. There's no way I'm about to do all that, bro. If I was in his shoes, bro, there's no way I'm about to do all that, you bro. You pick up truck. I can't. There's no way. I'm sorry. I can't, man. Because you just oh. let, you let everybody know where you at. And then, yo, I, you know you got ops, nigga. The way, the, way he, the way he talking, I know he got ops. He, if he so, didn't, he just made some. He just made some. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you and you, and you telling me where you at. You know what I'm saying? There's no telling. There's somebody out there that probably don't like you, and they gave me your truck number. See you know what I'm saying? Black so what men, I'm stop putting this energy on yourself. Number. Gotta I'm stop putting this truck number, Get your picture of your truck, and I'm gonna just follow you wherever I see you at. And you know what I'm saying? You dumb. That's, he easily clock. That's what the young kids call it: clocking each other. Clock him, and he just clocked himself. I'm gonna be here in two hours. We can do whatever. This ain't. You got too much to prove, dog. Thirty-three kids. You are not acting like an adult man. You're not, not with all that responsibility. Sure you talking about you ready to go to hell or jail? What your chilling supposed to do? Huh? Yeah. Now you what? So, you so selfish that you don't even care about your kids, bro. 
<laughs> and you know what? Here we go. I get it. We all get it. We all we all get it. Yes, but sir. observing it, we can we can uh, address it. But this ain't the way to be. This is not the way to be. No. Got too much to prove. I'm going to say he all cap. He lying. He insecure. He a hoe. And the video keeps proving that because he acting wild. Yeah, they're, yeah they're, <laughs> it went from this godly father. I take care of my kids. You know what I'm saying? Da, da, da. Man, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you fucking hurt. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dog, make up your mind. What you want? Which, which topic you on, nigga? Mm -mm -mm. So there we go. Another man, like I said, it's all bad. Keeping it real, gone wrong. And then he's mad because he is he he probably you know he got a favorite baby mama. Oh, yeah. Let's cut that out right now. He got a favorite baby mama, and she getting her ass tapped off. He ain't like that. He he ain't, nah. He ain't like okay. that. Okay, okay, bro. We gonna speak facts on this shit, bro. Okay. Look, but I, this by listening to this man talk and watching this shit, I. He revealing everything. What we're talking about is coming out, bro, because he tell you it's coming out. He's saying it himself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I, I knew it had a woman playing it and somebody hitting his favorite baby mama. And his favorite baby mama, that kid get taken care of the best. So that, that kid yeah. got Jordans and the other kid got yeah. Walmart and shit. Yeah. So, all that. It's a whole deal. Uh-huh. And that Walmart and that Walmart one is doing doing what he's doing right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And the one, the one that's giving the Jordans, he ain't liking that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's why the baby mama's mad. They be the one baby mama yeah. posting pictures. The kid got on fucking Jordans. She's uh -huh. like, oh, my kid, and you ain't what? Whoa. So that's where you're getting a lot of pushback. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And then that, and that other bitch from that other state, like, damn. He ain't tell me about this family. You know what I'm saying? They got on this, they got on that. Just like you said, man, that's all with a bull down to, bro. It ain't about oh he don't take care of it. Nah, that's that's what it is, man. And somebody, somebody called it, it, all, it all came out. Everything came out, and then he, he get his baby mama, his favorite baby mama, getting smashed. He ain't liking that shit. <laughs> so it is what it is. Uh, it's all bad. He somebody called him broke. They 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 hitting off his. Yeah, and then, and then, that's why he had to flash the money. Had to flash that bread. You, you gotta, yeah, we gotta come on, bro. We we we. You gotta Fellas, look at the whole overall picture. Fellas, I'm 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 gonna throw this out there. We're gonna keep addressing shit as we go on. Flashing money, I don't care how old you are. Flashing money is some of the most immature and ignorant shit ever. You know, Jay-Z said it best. You know, that ain't you flash if you got a flash of money, you ain't got no real money. What you so ecstatic about this little couple thousand dollars for? You ecstatic because you ain't never seen it before, and you may not no. never see it again. Seriously, act like act like y'all done had something before. This is coming from a poor disenfranchised motherfucker talking to you right now. There you go. He's an ignorant well, what motherfucker. You speaking really facts, though, what you speaking is facts. Seriously, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we me and Gab been very fortunate, very blessed. And you know, handle will end up with lump sum of money. And seriously, the thought process that it would take for me to break out my phone and start doing this, my soul would metal. I couldn't do it. It's sick. Cause it's ego and it's it, it just don't it's not a thought because it's insecurity why do you have something to prove to people that don't like you i rather motherfuckers just don't don't know i exist and then then you then i'll pop up with my with my fancy shit and that'll be what it is why you got to do this don't do it and but like we're talking about oh a picture may have been shown with one kid wearing jays one kid wearing shacks and and he has invited this energy because he Mr. You know, Big Daddy with the big bread. So he invited this energy for people to say, oh, well, well, my kid got shacks. But if he was carrying himself humbly, you know what I'm saying? It, it wouldn't be too much pushback because he never uh, portrayed to be this kind of person. But you acting like you got bread, you throwing it on the ground. Oh, it don't matter. You know, bread just on the flow. It's bread everywhere. You're the type of person that take his checks and put them on the Facebook snap. Yeah, but I can find y'all something else to do. I don't give a fuck. And my kids, I chose to take the pictures. I'm going to take some more. You feel like you got a problem? Fuck you. Delete me. You don't want to see my kids? You know, this man got a lot of kids. What's going on? You don't want to see it? Fuck you. Delete me. And you high capping ass niggas, this and that, whoop, whoop. You bitch ass niggas know me. You know me. Some money never been an issue. I'm going to get that. These hoes never been an issue. 
I'm gonna get that. I've been driving cars and whipping these cars since I was a little nigga. I've been paying niggas way in the club. I've been buying the bar. I've been doing all that shit since I was a little nigga. It ain't stop. I just don't fuck with niggas like that. I ride by myself. If it ain't my kids, I don't fuck with nobody. I see you. What's up? And I go on about my business. All right. So, Banger, this brother here, this little contact, he's 34 years old. He's a truck driver. He said he got kids from coast to coast, and he's slanging dick, and he don't like pulling out. So, that's his thing. <laughs> I mean, you got 30, you got 33 times uh, in, in generating. I mean, <laughs> I get it where there's different types of ways you can be a dad, but, I mean, I think I, I'm just going to say it like this. If you, he wanted a men that's probably going fifty dollars a kid. There you go. At the minimum, and yeah, I mean by the by the by the government standard, hell yeah, you take care of your kids fifty times thirty three. You ain't doing shit. It's a very ignorant, bliss, conditional way of taking care of your kids. You got cats with half that. They damn near need to fuck their baby mom just to take care of the kid. I, 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 you know, I got, I got mine. I, I, I got a little hoop squad, but at the end of the day, I'm not coercing or capping. I'm doing what's required. This dude got fucking more than triple that. And he say, banger, he say his baby mamas get mad at each other. That's the fighting. Cause like we were saying, he got, he, he picked fair. He got his favorite baby mamas. And, and he and, made a vital point. And, 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 and real quick, banger, them kids get to wear Jordans and shit, and other kids are wearing shacks. And they seeing <laughs> all this shit on Facebook, and that's where these women are having the issue. So like you said, he said, I'm taking care of my kids. They got shoes. He ain't saying what, though. He ain't giving the context. Like, a couple of them got Jordans. The rest of them got shacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're, they're, nobody's getting everybody's seasonal and shit. It's like, it's our turn. You know what I'm saying? 14 people ain't, I mean... No, no, he, he ain't taking care of everybody the way he say. They getting something, and a lot of dudes with double digit kids don't like to be honest. They just have a whole bunch of kids. I can say shit. I got two kids that's almost eighteen. That's close to eighteen, mm -hmm. versus having a whole bunch of kids at that same rate. So it's different. <laughs> yeah, price wise, thirty three of the mugs. All right, yeah, you tripping, dog? You capping? He don't want to hear it. I get how it. Many line, how many lines you got to cut, banker, with 33 kids? 33 kids? You'd be cutting grass in the snow, baby. Bruh, that's – that's because I, I want it. I got – like I said, I got – let's say I got two contracts. You know what I'm saying? It's giving me what I need compared to a worker's salary. You know what I'm saying? We gonna have to multi, we gonna have to do this five days a week, and I might as well just I might as well go seven days a week, uh, remote, and have yeah. people working for me. If I got thirty three kids, that hospital contract or that that city contract, whatever you get, that's that's gonna take care of yeah. thirty three. Man, look, that's a lot. You can't be giving out a, a, a fifty a fifty piece of kid a month. That's what niggas be doing, and they don't want to they don't want to put that out there either. Oh, I got I got thirty some kids, five times three, bro. You telling me you spending an easy sixteen hundred a month? Yeah. That's just times in it by fifty, and they need more than fifty dollars to live throughout a month. Right, and you know the older kids ain't going for that. Exactly. So, yeah, he he, he putting on a whole lot. I mean, he probably pay a child support. That's the, and, and they cut you off. He ain't include that. After so many goddamn people, just take your ass <laughs> off. You just got to be off. He, he, he passed the limit. It's usually like 10, 12. You just don't pay no more. You got too many damn kids. So he just going <laughs> off to the 18, 18, 18 until they get the nine kids. Come on, man. You ain't paying shit. You in control to do what you want to the system. Yeah, I'll be talking shit too. 33 motherfuckers and they ain't getting nothing. Huh. Until I feel like giving it to him, because he making more. So he's saying, unless I'm he's fucking a the mama, ass bastard. Whoever he fucking at the moment, them the kids getting taken care of the best, huh? 
Man, the, look. You know what I'm saying? You, you got the, just like you said, you got that favoritism. You got the you got the favorite baby mama, you know. <laughs> he got more than he got he uh, yo, put it like this. He got at least two favorite baby mamas, maybe three, give or take. Three favorite ones that he like he really look out for. This like he this like Banger said, fifty dollars a kid. And you know damn well the oldest ones ain't going for that shit. You know what I'm saying? So he where he probably got something set to where the ones that's 18 and older and shit, where okay, look, I'm gonna give y'all a couple hundred or thousands, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. that's he's gonna have to have it set up like that. <laughs> ain't no other way around it. And he got I know he gotta have a contract, a couple of them. Cause bro, thirty three kids. Yeah, you working for the rest of your life, bro. Until the other ones get grown. It's all yeah. bad. <laughs> and, and, and you're not you're not having no nine to five. You got you got contracts, man. You're 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 a trucker. You gonna have contracts with with certain companies that's gonna give you a quarter meal or better. Cause there's no way if I got thirty three kids, yes, I'm gonna have to have contracts, man. Ain't no if and buts about it. I'll tell you what, that's that man. He was, we brought him out front of the congregation and you know we got to the bottom of it. <laughs>